the short story is that I started piano when I was either six or seven, started organ when I was a teenager, played my first church service when I was 14. Then um, in high school, I was actually taking a piano lesson once a week, an organ lesson uh, once a week, and a cello lesson once a week. So I have a string background also. And then in college, I went to Calvin, it's now University in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and got my Bachelor of Arts in music there. And then I went on to pursue Masters of Music and Doctor of Musical Arts degree at the University of Michigan. Then I came right here to Colorado right after I got my DMA and started working at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs as their cadet chapel director of music and also the academy organist there. Stayed there for 32 years and then the last few years of that, so starting in 2008, I started here at the University of Denver as the organ instructor here. I'd actually played the organ in, um, in Hamilton Hall. It went in in 2003, and I played a recital in 2004, so I was familiar with the instrument, and I knew the previous organ instructor. We were very good friends. So it was kind of a natural, as it were, passing of the baton from him to me then in 2008. My teaching is not a telling the student how to play. It is asking questions and figuring out the answers. Let's say that a student comes to me with a piece by Bach. Okay, what do we know about Baroque interpretation? What do we know about articulation in Baroque music? How does that apply to the organ? Maybe we'll need to listen to some chamber music, Brandenburg concertos, to figure out, okay, how can I get a certain style? So um, it's, it's mainly a teaching of, instead of me telling a student and showing a student, guiding a student through learning a piece of music, I found that's the best because then they have the background so they can apply that to other pieces that they're learning, either in that particular period of music or sometimes what we learn from 20th century music, we've learned in 19th century music, and even from 18th century Bach, pre-Bach music. Well, organs are completely different from each other. There really are no two that are alike. So a lot of times people will look at a particular instrument when they're considering to go to a certain university. Sometimes it's, it's a matter of just being able to get used to an instrument. We are very, very fortunate here that this building was completed in 2003. The instrument was also completed in 2003, so it's a fairly new instrument as far as organs go. It was built by the Schuka Organ Company in Berlin, Germany, and then they transported it over to here in, uh, I believe it was the summer of 2003, and spent maybe six weeks, a couple of months installing it and voicing it, and then it was uh, dedicated in the fall of 2003. This particular instrument is mechanical action, but it's very eclectic. It's 41 stops, 56 ranks, it's three manuals, it sits up on the second level of the performing hall and is kind of the centerpiece of the whole hall. It has doors that close over the keyboards so when the instrument's not being used it can be locked, but it really does play a lot of the repertoire. You would think maybe, okay, it's a German organ company, it can only play German repertoire. Well, organ companies these days are building instruments mainly to play all of the repertoire. And this one, I think, is very successful. It, it's a wonderful instrument. It is the instrument here, so we do have to share the hall with other people preparing recitals 
or rehearsing for other things, master classes, performance classes, but students here do get a lot of time on that instrument. We have a practice organ in another part of the hall that they can use. It is only two manual, not three manual, so it's a little bit more constrictive, but it's it, it, it gets the job done if you're just learning notes or just need to learn the muscle memory, as we say, of playing a piece of music. So a student that comes here, uh, either undergraduate or graduate, would have weekly lessons. Depending on the degree you're working on and whether it's even a, a, a major or a minor, the lessons might be half hour a week or an hour a week. Most typically it's going to be an hour a week lesson. Then there would be an hour a week performance class. Then one year of your either undergraduate or graduate study would be taken up with improvisation where each quarter we would work on a different aspect of improvising at the keyboard. Oftentimes I will take an interest of what the student is actually interested in because a lot of organists will go into church music. It's often church hymn based improvisation. Sometimes it's other kinds of improvisation. A second year would be spent with organ repertoire. Here it's called uh, pedagogy and repertoire, pedagogy being the art of teaching. And that would be, okay, here you're faced with this piece by Max Rager. How would you teach it? Um, but then really we need about two years or three years to get through a complete course of organ repertoire, but I've made it work where we can get through a lot of repertoire with the one year. Uh, there would be other opportunities perhaps to accompany a choir in a particular piece for organ that either a graduate student might be doing on their recital. Uh, so there are some collaborative opportunities also that might happen during the week, but it certainly doesn't have to happen that way. Any organist looking at Lamont, I think first of all should look at the facilities and the instrument available. It is a smaller school than a lot of big universities, but what does that mean? It means you get more attention. So you're going to get a lot of individual attention and the ratio of faculty to student is very, very good here. I know when I was going to college, I would often be in a class of maybe 30 organists. And that's a lot. So there was as not as much, yes, we had individual lessons, but there wasn't extra attention being given to the student. Plus, there was a lot of competition for practice time. Here, you don't have that, so you're able to uh, really have the time on a very, very excellent instrument to practice.